on the model, we had a chat with three beautiful plus size models who have an initiative of empowering teenage mothers. Absolutely. Miss Kavishas Busia for Teenage Mothers is an event that went down over the weekend. Let's listen to what they have for us. I am Wendy Apio, a gender-based violence activist in Busia, whereby I use art to fight against gender-based violence. I also work with artists, three of my friends who are artists, to help impact the society whereby we have been rescuing street children, rehabilitating them using art, and also reintegrating them to school. And also a founder, a founder of Miss Kavi Busia. Miss Kavi Busia is an event whereby we, are, we want to use the platform to talk about how teenage mothers are still children and they can't raise children. We are still fighting against teenage pregnancies where we are telling those girls, yes, you've gotten pregnant, but I can come in and help. But it doesn't mean that you should now go get, get pregnant. Most girls get pregnant because of lack of basic needs, right? And mostly it's the sanitary pads, the necessities. It's a setup whereby we can prevent teenage pregnancies while at the same time rescuing the mothers who have already gotten pregnant. We decided on the event and using the curvaceous models and the plus size models because there have been a lot of body shaming in our societies against ladies that are plus size and that who are curvaceous. The government has been so reluctant on fighting against, fighting for teenage mothers. Yes, they're telling these girls to go back to school, but have you focused on the issue of stigma, what they are facing, where will they leave their children, right? So many organizations have come up, right? Being supported by the government, whereby they are fighting against teenage pregnancies, which is right, right? But what about the girls who have already gotten pregnant, right? What do we do for them? As much as those organizations go to the ground and talk to, uh, to the girls to prevent teenage pregnancies, at the same time, they are stereotyping, they are spreading stigma for those teenage mothers, while at the same time preaching. So there was that need that we need to rescue those mothers. Once you speak to the girls that they shouldn't get pregnant, we should also consider the ladies who are on that platform who have already gotten pregnant. Actually, I wanted something unique, something that will attract the crowd. And Ms. I settled for Ms. Kavesha's Busia. So I reached out to, to Irene because she is a Kavi model. I also wanted a teacher on board, a teacher who is also Kavesha's. That's why I settled for Martha, because she is a teacher. She understands the issues these girls are facing because she's, she is so close to them than other church leaders, or let's say if I could choose a leader, yeah. Teachers are more close to the girls. They know the issues they are facing. That's why I decided a teacher and a plus size model who has been facing stigma. I'm Irina Kenyi, former runners of Ms. Kavesha's Eldorate 2018, finalist Ms. World Plus Size 2019. I also judge Ms. Kavesha's Eldorate 2019, the founder of Freen Fashion Hub, uh, fa high fashion model at Kitenge Fashion Festival and the co-founder Miss Kavesha's Busia County. <music> Plus size model is, let's say the fashion industry is trying to bring it in but earlier on it was not there. People knew about the petit models now overlooking the plus size models and that's why we are trying to bring it up so that everybody uh, let's say a plus size can be appreciated also as a model because there are some events that you go and you're just discriminated because you're plus size mm. because you are bust let's say it's beyond what they expect mm. your waist might be small and you have a big hips mm. yeah okay when they reach out to me because I've been in the industry as Miss Kavishas for quite a, some times and I've had a lot of experience in such events. So I'm on board because of the event Kavishas models who will be showcase who will be modeling on that day. Yeah. 
So uh, I take them through the whole thing. Most of them are, are starting up their first time modeling. So these are ladies need to be encouraged. Like you have to tell them, don't quit. Yeah? Do this, do this, do that. You're beautiful. Also encouraging them. Because you can find a model today, she really wants to model, but she's not confident about her body. I'll advise the girls, the plus size and the curvy ladies or the petite ladies, just push on with your dream. Dreams are valid. If you want to be a model, go for it. It doesn't matter your body, how big or small you are. Just focus on it. And the society, I want to say that they need to promote uh, the children's talents. It doesn't matter ka mtoi aneza imba, aneza cheza ball. Just promote the talents in the society. My name is Martha Siunda Apio. I'm a teacher. Um, I'm a finalist, Miss World Plus Size 2019. I'm also the reigning first runners up, Miss Curvy Curve Kenya 2019. The event actually is about teenage mothers. And I, as a teacher, I deal with these girls like every day. In fact, uh, before they get lost to being a teenage mother, first of all, they are with us. I mean, they, most of them are in school by that time. When you talk about teenage mothers, we're talking about girls who are below 18 years. So my role in this uh, is actually to like, give the real picture of what is happening. Because this is the what we need to ground. I mean, in school, uh, like let's say class seven, class eight, class six, we lose girls like in a month, at least a girl to early pregnancy. Um, last year, uh, when the pandemic hit, uh, just five months into the pandemic, Busia County alone recorded 2,750 early child, early, early, early pregnancies. Out of these numbers, uh, 77 of them were below 14 years. This is so worrying. And these are only reported cases. We have those cases, especially where incest is involved. Nobody, it, the story doesn't live to see the day. So like, let's say those cases that are not reported are even higher than the reported cases. So that's why I came on board. Eh? And uh, also being a Miss Carvey finalist and also first runners up, I think I will help a lot because you cannot talk about something which you cannot do. It's better if you demonstrate. They say a good teacher demonstrates. So we can demonstrate to these Kavi ladies who are coming on board that we are not just forcing you. You know, being a Kavi person right now, yeah. it's so hard for them to come out. We are really trying, like right now, we are conducting models. They are pulling out because, first of all, they have not accepted who they are. They're still facing that stigma. I mean, you walk around all eyes on you. So you're imagining on that day, you alone on the runway, all the eyes are on you. First of all, you're not used to these small people. Unless, I mean, few people were looking at you. And on that day, like 800 of people, 800 people will be looking at you. My mantra is, eh, if you don't like who, how I look, that is your own problem. This is me, uh, I love myself. Two, I always tell myself, you don't need to be beautiful like them. Just be beautiful like you. I mean, beauty begins the moment you start feeling beautiful. Yeah, everybody should start beating, feeling beautiful, and then you'll see the beauty in others. But that's how you are every day, eh, whining about your, your tummy, oh, my tummy is big, oh, my bust is big. You'll never see good in others, yeah. And that will means you will also start taking it. Because unfortunately, body shaming uh, is, is coming from women, our fellow women. They're the ones who really want to look out. Eh, will you, eh, nasikuzia meja, nasikuzia meshona, Yeah, so ladies, learn to appreciate yourselves. The others, I think it's unnecessary. Sadly, we've come to the end of this beautiful show. But before that, I want to send a big shout out to everyone who has been tuning in to our crew members, you know, to the producer. Let me use the word legit. These guys are so legit. Mm. Hey, but before that, wrap up. 
Let's wrap it up with Calligraph Jones, uh, G Like That, which mm -hmm. is a song of his uh, Testimony 1990 album. What do you feel about this song? It's quite a jam. I love the video concept. Mm -hmm. Hey, Calligraph decided to use beautiful ladies only. And mm. Kenyans were so blessed, eh? Yes. Yeah, in Calligraphy, branded t-shirts. He oh, knew how to, how to capture everyone's attention. You know, mm -hmm. ladies already love Calligraph. You know, from the way he looks, oh, we already it. like him, oh, you know? It. So yeah. he knew to capture you guys, mm -hmm. he had to put in some fine-looking mamas in mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So and that na lazima. <laughs> you know? Guys, feel free, man. Mm. This is for everyone. Feel free like a boss. Go out, support Calligraph Jones. Man, they check it to your video. I love you to be here. Yes. From the floor to everything that is in that video, it is beautiful and amazing. You know what they say, if you did not see it on Group 5... Then it most probably never happened. Adios! Adios.